looking for something. See, every once in a while, you got to come with expectation. And God knows how to meet your expectation. He said, knock, and the door shall be open. Seek, and ye shall find. Ooh, help me, Holy Ghost. I'm preaching better than y'all looking at me. Romans 8, 28. God for all of these pulpiteers here and y'all forgive me if I lose a little bit of my pulpit etiquette I just get excited hallelujah and I make no apologies for what the Lord tell me to do come on uh, Romans 8 and 28 it reads as thus and we know that all things work together for the good of them who love God and are called according to to his purpose. I want to talk just for a moment. It will work out. Oh, uh, y'all getting quiet. Hallelujah. It will, it will, it will work out. I, I don't know, Pastor Monroe, this is a prophetic word for El Bethel today. I don't care what the church is going through. You ain't got to worry about it because it will. There is a period in one's life that hardship and circumstances are almost inevitable. No one here, I'm sure is able to escape the calamities and catastrophic activities that surrounds one's own life. I'm even sure that often it appears that if it ain't one thing, it's another. No matter what you try to accomplish, it appears as though it will never work out. Uh, suffering here is a normal part of the Christian life. Suffering, if you will, is a fact, meaning there's some truth behind it. It here is not fictional at all. Suffering, you know, all too often, we are often taught in this Christian life that once we get saved, everything will be all right. Uh, but I got to beg to differ because it wasn't until I came to the Lord that things got a little bit tough. It wasn't until I made the Lord Jesus the Lord of my life that things got rough. But in spite of what it is that I find myself going through, it has always worked out. We sing songs of faith and victory. But if we're honest about it, sometimes there remains a large gap between the victory song and reality. The reality is this. How can you sing about victory when you feel you're always on the losing side? What song can you possibly sing when your world as you know it is literally and psychologically and emotionally turned apart and now you've become an emotional wreck? What song can you sing when the doctor tells you you've got cancer and there's nothing else they can do? What song can you sing, glory to God, when you feel like all hope is lost? Well, since you asked, I might as well tell you, there are such songs. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that shined the wretch like me. I once was low, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now there are songs. Tell me, what do you do? When you've done all that you can and it seems like you never get through, all you got to do is say, there are songs. I've been through the storm and the rain, but I made it. I've had a lot of heartache and a lot of pain, but I made it. See, it's not the reality of going through, but it is the reality of coming out. Because I know where my strength lies. 
The Bible says that his strength is made perfect in my weakness. I wish y'all would help me. And so it does not matter about the heartache. It does not matter about the storm and the rain. In spite of what you go through, in spite of what it looks like, in spite of what the enemy wants you to think, it will work out. Can I preach? Suffering is a language God understands. I don't think y'all hear me. Suffering. Come on, y'all talk to me now. Suffering is a language that God understands. In which not only he understands, but he also responds. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, if you call me, I'll answer. And not only will I answer, but I'll show up and show you some things that you've never seen before. So you might as well nudge your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because God's got some things that he's getting ready to show you. I don't care what the doctors say. I don't care what the report may say. Whose report will you believe? All sickness is not unto death. Talking about you sick and can't get well. The devil is a lie. You better learn how to put your hands on your own self. Speak a word over yourself. Encourage yourself. Say I am healed by the blood. That's the sound step right there. Because some of us sit down here and start tripping because about what we hear. But you got to understand it's got to be more than what you hear and it's got to be more than what you see. Because sometimes you see without seeing. I'm trying to bring it down. Faith. The substance of things. Evidence. Just because I don't see it don't mean it ain't there. I still got to take all these meds. Don't mean my healing ain't there. I ain't got a dime in my pocket. Don't mean the money ain't there. Talking about your money funny. Come on here, your change is strange. You trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. You got to use your welfare for bus fare. Come on here, the devil is a lie. Learn to speak to your pockets. Talking about you broke. The devil is a lie. I'm just in between blessings. Wakata, what gives you the insurance? Because it always works itself out. <laughs> Suffering indeed is the language that God understands and he responds to. David said, I cried to the Lord and he delivered me. Well, well he ain't delivered me yet. Yeah, he did. You just didn't pay attention. I wish I had somebody. Talk back to me if you can. Remember the times when, come on here, that reckless driver almost put you off the road? How? But you didn't get hit, you didn't get a scratch, you didn't get an inkling, come on. That was God. Huh? Who am I talking to? Remember when, glory to God, your money was funny. You didn't know how you was going to pay your bills. The light bill was due. Come on here. The gas bill was due. The mortgage was due. You ain't have a dime coming in. But somewhere, somehow, a check was in the mail. I wish I had some real believers that had that kind of faith. See, people think that I'm talking funny. But I'm telling you, every day I go to my mailbox, real. I go to my mailbox. And about, the people in my church used to always say, well, 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 Dr. Carter, why are you always going to the mailbox? I say, because I'm looking for something. <laughs> don't, don't expect it to come if you don't look for it. <laughs> Every day I go to that mailbox, I be believing. 